है एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक तो इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे लाइफ साइकिल हुक आई थिंक लाइफ साइकिल हुक यू माइट हैव हर्ड दिस टर्म इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ रियक्ट एंगुलर एवरी फ्रेमवर्क हैज सम काइंड ऑफ अ लाइफ साइकिल हुक्स व्हिच टॉक्स अबाउट इनिशियलाइजेशन अपडेट फेज एंड देन डेस्ट्रॉय फेज एंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ लाइफ साइकिल फेज इज सो दैट वी कैन हुक आवर कोड अप्रोप्रिएटली वेन यू आर इनिशलाइजिंग ओके इनिशलाइज द रिसोर्सेज वैन you are destroying then re- release the resources that's the real importance like angular life cycle hook also does the same thing nestjs also has the same set of uh, i mean the names are different but doing the same thing initializing the resources of and when you are creating the life cycle hook like on module in it and on on module destroy or when you are doing shut down the application using control c or there is a application shut down using some external issues that we have to release the resources so what are the life cycle hook this is important so a we can divide it into three segment app bootstrap on module init on module bootstrap and then on module destroy before application shut down on application shut down process exit you might be thinking where should we write these life cycle hook methods right you can put that inside a controller inside a services or inside a module you just need to implement appropriate interface and just put them inside your service or a module i like if i want to do it if i if you ask my choice i use on module in it and on module destroy at the service level so i know okay i need to initialize the database connection on on module in it in on module destroy release the resources ab ye what is the concept of creating database connection in on module in it because on module in it ke andar agar aap database connection likhoge because from till that point database uh, application has not started it is waiting so you can actually do the database initialization or kafka connection rabbit mq connection and all after that on module bootstrap after that application start listening for http event request on a start ho jati hai and when you shut down the application using app dot close or uh, using control c or through, through unhandled exception it call before application shut down and then there is a own application shutdown own application shutdown stops the listener when the listener stop i mean when your server sta- stops listening the http request the application shutdown trigger hota that is same as process dot exit by node js process exit ho chuka hai you can understand the same here bootstrap start hua next js core bootstrap hua on module in it you can define it inside a module or after module initialization on module in it on application bootstrap for each module you can define this uh on application bootstrap then it st- appl- your application will start listening to the http events from this moment onwards then termination signal receive up termination mein aapko kuch ho sakta hai control c ho gaya ya unhandled exception aa gaya tab on module destroy ek trigger hota hai this can be triggered for each module ab ab ye jab bhi hota hai so it will actually destroy the instance of services instance of controllers and before application shut down for each module and then it stops listening for http events and then it calls own application shutdown so actually jo real life mein if you talk about uh, myself i m- mostly have used own module in it and own module destroy maybe if you want to just know ki when my application shutdown i want to know some console message i want to do some additional things then you can use these the uh, own module destroy or own application shutdown life cycle hook because sometimes you wanted to log the messages or do some additional processing before application goes shut down this is a slight glimpse of how all what all these things are doing on module in it on module destroy so this is how you will register it aapko implement karna padega on module in it uh, interface fir aap on module in it method define kar do inside a service okay this is asynchronous initialization you can also make it async await and for this uh, uh, when you terminate the application you have these three four different uh, methods right you can use those methods only after enabling the shutdown hook so app dot enable shutdown hook so that your application will start responding to all these termination events like any uh, on module destroy before application shutdown on application shutdown you need to explicitly tell next js ki i i am interested in listening these events because i want to do something else to aap uh, app dot a enable shutdown hook kar do and you will start listening to these events so let's say you start the bootstrap the application and just right away do app dot close 
दैट इज नथिंग बट क्लोजिंग द एप्लीकेशन तो ये ऑन मॉड्यूल डेस्ट्रॉय बिफोर शट डाउन ऑल दीज इवेंट्स विल बी ट्रिगर्ड लाइक ऑन एप्लीकेशन शट डाउन दिस मैथड हैज वन आर्ग्यूमेंट सिग्नल तो ड्यू टू विच सिग्नल दिस एप्लीकेशन इज गेटिंग शट डाउन राइट एस आई जी आई एन टी लाइक यू डू डिट कंट्रोल सी और दैन दिस पर्टिकुलर सिग्नल विल बी सेंट टू द प्रोसेस नाउ द डेमो इज सिंपल दिस काइंड ऑफ दीज मैथड्स वी वॉन्टेड टू सिमुलेट इन अवर कोड तो हम क्या करेंगे ऑन मॉड्यूल इनिट इम्प्लीमेंट कर दो सर्विसेज के अंदर और एट द मॉड्यूल लेवल यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट ऑन मॉड्यूल डेस्ट्रॉय ऑन एप्लीकेशन बूट बिफोर एप्लीकेशन शट डाउन राइट सो हियर यू कैन सी आई हैव दिस ऑन मॉड्यूल इनिट and inside on module int line 20 on application shutdown also you can register the methods whatever you want right so i'm using application shutdown on module init method inside user service same you can actually use at uh, another service so whenever you start the application you will see these messages coming so this is another service i will just import this on module init on application shutdown and just doing some methods to see what is happening on the console you can see on module in it module is initialized and application shut down when you do control c what happens is when you do control c it actually sends the sig int signal and your application will get shut down on application shut down and before these are the different events so let's say i enable the app dot close app dot close is doing nothing but it actually stops listening to the http events you start the application and you see it's actually sending a shutdown event module initialized and then service shutdown so i i will just share this snippet you can just play with these different life cycle hooks you can implement all these different interface at a module level on application bootstrap before application shutdown on application shutdown right so jab bhi application bootstrap bootstrap hogi this method will get called when application is getting shut down then these different different methods will get triggered in this example I mean, ideally, what I do is uh, on application bootstrap, on application shutdown. Before application shutdown, I use at a module level. For the services, there mostly I define on module in it and on module destroy. So the real world example is that like observable you subscribe to on observable using on module in it. On module destroy me, you use observable to destroy karo, unsubscribe karo, right? You might be creating some connections or some uh, resources which you can release in on module destroy. Okay that's it about simple life cycle hooks uh, for the nest js